Hello, and welcome to the Dooming RPG tutorial on how to use macros. Basically, a macro is a way to automatically send a message by pressing a button. In this case, we're going to abuse that feature into making abilities by pressing other buttons. Instead of removing, for example, your shift key, which is only your sneaking control, instead of removing features like that, we add our own buttons to make it better. In this case, we're going to use an item that's already in the game. Well, you can't obtain it in the server normally. This is a test item. It's just called test. So in an item that has an ability, there's a couple of key features in it. First off, it's these three paragraphs. The top one shows the name, the second paragraph shows the description, and the third one shows the cooldown. But what's more important in this uh, tutorial is the key. There's a bunch of type of keys. I don't know all of them because I might add some. In this case, there could be right click or, or shift. But in this case, in a special case, there is the OH key. OH stands for offhand, and it's in the name. Basically, it can only be used if you press your offhand key when you have it in your offhand. Um, as you can see, it is not working. This is because if we go to slash options, I have the macro enabled. If we have it disabled, which is by default, every time you press F, the ability will work. But in this case, you cannot switch back. It is completely, it just stays in the same spot. Which is why if we enable the macros, as you can see, it does not work, except if we type this in chat, it works. So let's see. So we're gonna have a type of, two types of mods. Um, I'm right now using Fabric 1.18.2. I don't know if this works for all of them. If you, if you seriously are gonna use Forge, I, Good luck on trying to find it, um, because I don't know any Forge ones. I mean, there's probably Forge ones. There's also stuff like, uh, you could also use clients. For example, Lunar has the auto text. Um, in here, it's called the command macros mod, but in, it could be auto hotkey, it could be auto text, it could be any, uh, any other name. So, in this case, if you use... The two of mods that I have in the description, which are mod menu and command macros, I'll show you on how you can set up. So basically, go over here, go mods. I already have a bunch of mods here, but you find the command macros, go over here, configure, and uh, this, this doesn't look like, and then you add a macro. So now you go over here, command, take all this by go, uh, pressing control A and uh, deleting it all. We're going to make it so it types key offhand. Now, this isn't going to be exactly like some. Like, if you're using Lunar, of course, it is not. It is going to be different. But the process is similar. So you type over here in the command key offhand. It's not an actual command, but that's what it's going to say in chat. And then we're going to configure our key bind, which in this case, I'm going to set it up as C. And then click Save and Exit. We go back. And now that I, when I press C, it does this. It, it uses the ability. And we can also press F just to switch it back. This method, basically what this method will do is it will allow multiple abilities in one item. So, for example, a bow, instead of removing features, we can add, instead of removing features like shift or the offhand, we use right click as normal, then left click could be quick fire, and then we could add another ability which uses different types of keys in our keyboard in order to, I don't know, use an ability called uh, arrow storm, stuff like that. That is the use of mm, these macros. It's to add variety into the server with our abilities and to make it, uh, to make it better. For the user, because we don't want just the boring ass stuff, especially when we have to remove actual features. For example, as you just saw before, when we have the thing disabled, when you have this uh, macro thing disabled, we remove the ability to switch back into the main hand. So you're basically stuck with this in your offhand, 
and it creates it's completely garbage. So that's why I added this system. If you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, useful, be sure to uh, subscribe and maybe like. And also, comments are always appreciated. I try to look at all of them. Um, but I'm not famous, so I'm pretty sure I can just look at every comment with no, uh, no problems. And yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope you found this, this tutorial successful. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.